It's Trybear. There's been a new development for Diablo 4 this week. We've seen a lot of interviews, especially from Rod Ferguson, GM of the Diablo franchise at Blizzard, talking about the game and what's coming next. We've had the announcement for Season 2, the Season of Blood, and what's going forward for the game. But this week, some news outlets picked up an interview with Rod Ferguson that talked about what their plans are going forward on an annual basis for Diablo 4. And to put it bluntly, there's not a lot of positive energy Energy around it, though that's kind of been the vibe for Diablo 4, but I'll open it up to discussion as we talk about what happened and what your opinion is around the new updates. First, you should come hang out with me on my live stream. I'm live every single day on twitch.tv forward slash drybear. If you don't come hang out with me in the Twitch community, then the next time you get out of the bath or shower, you're going to get that one big drop of water that goes all the way down your back and tickles you on the way down. And you find this all over on tons of news outlets, but it was a conversation with Rod Ferguson, an interview that was done, I believe, originally by Dex or two that did uh, a, a conversation on what's the annual process. And he confirmed that Diablo 4 is planning to do quarterly seasons as it has been doing. So every three months or so, a new season will start. And we'll also be doing a annual expansion that's likely to be a paid expansion every single year. So if we follow the same timeline that we had before, which means the end of the summer next year, we should be seeing a expansion release for Diablo 4. And there's a couple things to dive into about this. First of all, if you look back on the history of Diablo, Diablo 2, the original Diablo 2, was greatly improved when they finally did Lord of Destruction. Diablo 3 didn't really come into its own until they finally did Reaper of Souls. And so the expansion itself usually, at least historically, has been a major saving grace for Diablo where they figure out what the fan base wants and then they make a big expansion that gets everything right or most things right and makes the game better for what it is. But that's not exactly what's being proposed here because what they're saying is that they want to do annual expansions every single year kind of like a new call of duty coming out where it's close to what you already have but they want to kind of bring in new content that way now what we've seen so far in the update process for diablo 4 has been that they've focused on as far out into the future as possible and my only jive my only thought on this as looking at the company from the outside is that it seems like they're doing this primarily to please the, uh, you know, the, their overlords or their shareholders. Generally, if you can say that, hey, we've got a bunch of things cooking, we got a lot of stuff in the bank, we're really moving, the team is moving, that's looking at it from more of a productivity standpoint. You can tell your bosses that, hey, we're down, we're working on season three, we're working on season four, our schedule is packed, our calendars are loaded, and we're busy, 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 busy. Uh, so that kind of, from that perspective, if you're a boss or an owner or an exec or some kind of, uh, you know, chair, you're looking down and saying, okay, they're busy. That's great. But I think the major concern that comes along with this kind of hurried, rushed timeline is that does it actually focus on making the game better or is it just making deadlines so that you can meet deadlines so that you can be busy? And I hope that that's not the case in this here. I still think that they've done good changes since the launch of Diablo 4. I love Diablo 4. And if the release of a new expansion next year comes with at least as much content as the base game had, plus even more, and we have a bunch of new stuff coming in, like a new class with every expansion, and they have a new area, the map gets expanded, we have a bunch of new activities, and they incorporate everything from the seasons that go along the way. I think it can actually be really, really good for the game. It's a very aggressive schedule to do that, and it can very easily turn into the seasons are very light, kind of like the end of Diablo 3 seasons where it was just a reset. There wasn't really anything special about it. We might end up having that for our seasons if they're going to be doing major content beats every single year. They might be holding new content for those uh, launches, which means people might be skipping seasons and just playing when the expansion comes out. But I feel like this puts a lot of pressure and strain on a development team that was already struggling to keep a positive note in the public perception. Because previously, the game at its base was good, but it was missing a ton of features and a lot of really feel-good aspects that people got in competitive games like BG3 that had every fine detail kind of ironed out, whereas Diablo 4 was missing a lot of basic things you would expect from a game from a big studio. And the question has to be asked is if the seasons that are coming out now are already rather underwhelming, how much more underwhelming will they be if you're now pushing a major content release 
every single year on top of everything, which means that you're going to have three seasonal releases every quarter and the fourth seasonal release every 12 months is going to be a full content release on a schedule for an expansion. And typically what happens if this isn't managed properly, if you don't have a good production team that's standing behind this and putting their foot down, you either create a lot of instability where the game isn't properly QA'd or it's not properly managed or the features aren't properly tested or implemented or the departments aren't properly talking to each other, which means that they don't play nice with each other when you put things in. The UI doesn't work with the items and the items don't work with the classes and the classes don't work with the abilities and that sort of thing and everything gets all mingled. Or in order to ensure stability and quality, they just take all of the time in development that they would spend in making the seasons awesome, and they spend all of that making the expansion awesome, which means the seasons become even more underwhelming than we've seen for the first one already. And look, you guys know that I do like Diablo. I like Diablo 4. I enjoy it, but I've also spent a lot of time as a game developer, and I can tell you that just focusing on being able to say, hey, I'm busy. Look how busy I am. Here's how fast we're going to do it when you haven't really been meeting the core metrics and you haven't been making your core audience pleased and excited and happy and you haven't been focused on making the game the best game that it can be. It's very hard to get other people excited about, hey, we're making our schedule even more aggressive and even more content and even more. And it, it, it starts to feel a little bit uh, more hollow and less focused on making the game as good as it can be. But what do you think? Is this something that you're excited about? Are you still playing Diablo 4 right now, season one? Are you excited about season two? And the idea of content updates for an annual release expansion is super exciting for you. Or are you someone who kind of faded off of Diablo and this idea of putting more and more aggressive timelines on their content updates when they haven't really been landing as well as they probably should have makes it even more worrying and concerning for the game itself. Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed yourself today, leave a like down below. You can support me and my work on Patreon and view Patreon exclusive content, link in the description. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one.